all right wonderful people all right great people i am back again great people of biafra i salute you all once again as you are joining i want you to share this video is very very important and i'm going to call people's name i just see uh leonard is here watching um and as you are writing i also have a lozzy on my um computer here oh hey biafra god bless mazin and the Kano, my second god all hey biafra god bless uh ole john is also watching i don't hesitate and i hope my voice is coming clear yeah 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 my voice is coming clear and this is also going to be a quick one you know uh we don't shy away from reality we always face reality um i hope every one of you see my caption and um on this caption uh, it seems that i can't write more than this uh if i write too much article on this uh they won't allow me to come up live and uh, we are here to do the needful um before i will continue of course i have to introduce myself i don't have to talk too much because uh oh, and, uh, if we the play them you go to show as we the play them now so you go to show and we are not going to stop of course we have already come we say we don't come and we are not going to go back and uh, we are going to also listen to mazin nam the opu chukukano i am also today still 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 you know our topic never change it's like um when they brought you bible they told you that things in the bible never change that is how and who we are we can never change we will keep on preaching the gospel of redemption, the gospel of truth, the gospel of freedom to our own people. Because we have come. And do you think anyone can stop us? Believe you me, nobody. Nobody but of a woman. Now they are running helter scatter. They have now come again in the same attitude and manner they have been behaving. Because these people, there's a lot of things wrong with these people. If you go to my caption, if you see the article that I put up there, I said, I wrote there, Mazin Nam Dekano's siblings. Aloye Jimako. And the OS are wise. Ihoge Munu Buronone Unamalife. I told you people that VOS have learned and they have already found their safer landing. Some of you won't understand. They have already watered their ground. They have already stepped up. Because we are not going to remain like this. And now I hope and I know that every one of you have understand and also come in conclusion those that they are in charge hey, man, nah, nah. We, we, we are saying all these things some of you don't want to understand when i know idiot and gossip some of you will be there gossiping and roaming around like idiots we are saying things the way it is and nobody can stop us mazin namdekanu remains the highest authority and the highest commander in this Biafran restoration project. You see, we have crossed the Rubicon. Many have died in this struggle. Many have lost their souls. Many, their loved ones are still crying today. Some of them, that is unfortunate. Because I don't say that God so much loved them. That is why they escaped the death. No, they are unfortunate. That the bullet... They were not in a wrong place at a wrong time. That is why the bullet did not hit them. And the same time, we tame Chukwu Kikabiyama for their life. But if I tell you that is the Chukwu Kikabiyama is the one that took those people that died, it's a lie. Not a lie. It's unfortunate. You know the reason why? 
I always say this to my people. None of us will live on this earth forever. None of us. We are not going to live on this earth forever. We will keep on, you know, just one minute, my people. All right, all right. So, uh, this is how it is. Um, let me introduce myself, like I said. All right, wonderful people. Great people of Biafra Freedom Fighters. Lovers of freedom, great people. My name is Mazo Kenna Okechukun, known as the Biafra Chai Donwachineke. The general. I am from Ihala in Anambra. Anambra in Biafra land. But we are not here for Anambra people. I am Anambra. I am from Anambra. But I am not here for Anambra people. So if you are doing things for Anambra, or you are calling me that I'm your brother, I'm not your brother. We just met ourselves in this struggle. So I don't do Anambra things. And I will always stand on Biafra. So I am from Ihala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPO beyond the chain of command. Mazen Nam the Okuchukukanu remains the commander, the highest authority on this Biafran restoration. But as it stands so now, there is no two ways about it. Except you lack ability to reason. Except you, you are animal. That is only when you can never understand the ethics of this movement that we are. Masi Shike Dosiem is the one in charge. And that is why we are seeing everything playing. Mako on a play in Africa, then you can never ever dispute it. We don't care about your qualification or your level of education or being you a, a engineer or being you, I don't know what to call it, philosopher. We are here for common sense to understand and be able to know your right from your left. That is what we need. And that is why you see me whenever I see all those people trying to put their words in order. Trying to, you know, climb things on their head. The vocabulary that they even though you, when you ask them, they can't even explain what it is. I don't listen to them because they are all coconut head. Now, I want us to listen to Onion Dumas and Nam Dekano before I will come back again on this issue of what is happening. Because I hate this, I go ahead. And they are crying. They are crying now. I keep on saying this to, the, to you people. Mazishike, Dozim, pray for him. Pray for Mazishina Sanguru. Pray for every member of DOS. And at the same time, pray for those that are working as seriously on this Biafran restoration project. You think I saw all of us are media warrior? We have a lot of people, their jealousy and enviness. We kill them. And I'm going to get there. But let me first place the voice of our leader. Makana Awo on air. All right. Onion Dungwa. You get better, you get better. After you pray for us. As we are praying for you. As we are praying for you. Is it what I have here? Is it what I have here? Where is it? Is it what I have here? Um... Okay, let me play this. And then, uh, you know, every, every, every broadcast of our leader is a gospel. Let me go to this, then I will come back to what Mazen Namdekano said about the DOS. Now, pay attention, please. one thing I want all of us to understand this very evening. 
We are facing a very formidable array of enemies, both external and within. And we are going to overcome each and every one of these obstacles. That I can assure you that they may know that the God we worship is an invisible God, not a God that was wrought by the hands of men. For we do not worship idol, and we can never, ever worship idol. is impossible. This very family, this IPOB, belongs to the Most High. And that is how it's going to be until Biafra comes and beyond to eternity. This evening, I want to place it on record that our enemies are intensifying their attack against us. From every corner. Every corner. I am not saying this as lamentation or complaint. I am only trying to prepare our people for what is to come. We are here. We are here. You are being prepared for what is to come. Only do we are here. The time has come to separate the chaff from the wheat. No, that chaff. is exactly what we are doing. We are separating the wheat from here. the chaff. The enemies are trembling. They are quaking. They are doing all they can to try to stop us. They won't. But they have failed. Woefully. Very woefully. Very woefully. Very woefully. And they will continue to fail. Oh, to accord, yeah. But I want to say that we are getting attacks from everywhere. From everywhere all over the world. And very soon, they will buy over some of you. And they have already bought them. To the extent of, of the family. They will buy some of you over. Yes. The spirit of Obad, Yasika, and the Fajima are still in some of you. Of course. When the time comes, they'll buy you over. I am not doing this program tonight to ask all of you to be strong. I am doing it to remind you. Not that if they succeed in buying you over, you're not going to stop what we're doing. You can't. Not in a trillion. You cannot. Not in a trillion years. But I need you to appreciate one very simple fact. But at the end of this very race, everybody will testify that indeed Chukukikabiyama, the same God of Israel, of Abraham, Isaac, and Joseph, the same God of Eri in Aguleri, the same God of Umweri, the same God of Ora Eri, the same God of Uwe Eri, the same God of Arochuku. But there is one thing I want all of us to understand this very evening. We are facing... All right, Onendu, 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 Onendu. <clears throat> there is no panic. We are here. We are here. We are here. We are not going anywhere. We have chosen our path on this Biafran restoration project. We are not going to back an inch. We are not going to stop. Onendu, I want to let you know that those people that you spoke about them, they have already bought them over. But those people that are still believing in you, they are royal to your, to your words and things that you have been doing. We are still here. We are not going to change. And when you will come out, you will love us more. Because we have already, you know, given all the love. That is why we're here. Now, I want you people to understand that some of you don't know that Biafra is our religion. And Radio Biafra is where we are worshipping. And I keep on saying this to our people that Biafra child in Washington is on Biafra television on frequency channel one. We are going to practicalize it. You know, some of our people are so daft in school. They don't understand. They don't reason. They don't under, even understand. Open your mouth and begin to gossip and say all sort of nonsense from your mouth. Do you think that people cares? We don't care. We are not coming here for competition, but we always set the record straight. So that only a play, you go to show. Now, like I said, Biafra is our religion. All of you that are dabbling into things that you don't know and believing to uh, mean religion they brought to you, not only those uh, call themselves Christianity and all those people that are stolen from our people today. But I will get there. I'm just trying to, 
you know, use this as my preamble. Because sometimes some people will say, I don't even know what I'm talking about. That to show you that we don't put this, we don't put things down. We work with our minds. Whenever you call me, the same thing that I tell you today is what I'm going to tell you tomorrow. You have to water your ground preamble before you will get to your main topic. You're going to let people to caption what you are about to tell them so that then we understand and have the clue about what you are going to say. But when you don't understand, you are coming every day, abusing, you know, yapping and talking all sorts of all sort of rubbish. The answer is no. No, I'm happy to here. When Onion Do was mentioning to you all the God of Jacob, the God of Abraham, this and that, to show you that Onion Do is a unique. And Onion Do believe in our ancestors. He's back again telling you the God of Eli, the God of Aguleri, the God of Amamba, the God of John, Ibibio, Isoko. He tell you all our gods. Because we believe on our own. And that is exactly what we want to let people understand that Biafra is one you if you like, oh you know, I don't do I don't talk too much. Biafra is our religion, and Biafra is first in any other thing you are doing. Now let me go to what Onyendu said. Now I'm now on my broadcast. Let me go to Onyendu voice note again before we will go before i will start preaching the gospel to our people now let us hear what onyendu said here just hold on my people Yes, 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 my people. I'm sorry. I just uh, get my sombo, uh mean what they call it, um, post people. Uh, okay, let us go back again and listen to what Onyendu said about this uh, leadership called the OS, the Directorate of State. Now pay attention. After this uh, voice note, now I will go straight to my point because I'm not coming here to waste time. No, I don't. I'm coming to set the record straight. And uh, at the same time, after this voice note, I'm going to also give a one-minute silence to our sister. I heard she has passed away. May her soul rest in peace. A gallant woman, for that matter. A very, very formidable woman that have contributed her quota on this Biafran restoration project in the person of Marian T. Heider. Uh, everything, you know, in this life, I have said it time without number. Don't claim that you kill people. Don't even say so because we have already know in this earth, no one can live forever. You see me as I am, I have already conquered death. When I'm saying this, I'm not saying that I'm not going to die. But I am not afraid of death. I can die anytime. And I always use myself as an example. The day that uh, Chukwu Kikabiyama created us on this earth, he never planned for, for us to die. But that is why sometimes I used to question our creator. But I don't want to go there for now. You know, I just want to let you people understand that it's a very, very sad news. I couldn't even believe it. I couldn't even believe it that our sister just left us. We just lost a gallant soldier. Prince Ostraman Page. At the same time, we lost our sister, Maran T. Heider. And some of people now will be telling you, nah, nah, let me, let me, I will, I will get there. But let us, after I play this uh, voice note of our leader, 
I'm going to give her a mini silent or here on Biafran Television Channel 1 under the leadership of Martin Nandikan. You know, some people don't even know that I signed Code of Conduct. They think that I'm just coming here to say I signed Code of Conduct. Many leadership, they are listening to me. I can't just be lying to people, telling them that I signed Code of Conduct. If you know what she means by signing Code of Conduct, when you sign Code of Conduct, that means that every of your broadcast is going on frequency. And I'm going to practicalize it. On our on our now let us go, let us get there, please. Let us listen to Onyendi, please. Anybody not following, anything that DOS says goes. Anybody not following orders from GK, dossier from DOS. Your own is gone. You will be removed from IPOB and sanctioned appropriately. You know before we remove you without knowing where you are. Yes. This time around, we will catch you before we remove you. Anything DOS says is what goes. Are you from is heading... Our reconciliation Maz, are you sure that everything that DOS says goes? Because what is happening today, some people are chasing shadow. Some people are chasing shadow as it stands today. They don't even want to listen to the DOS. But believe you me, I have told you people that Maz Shike Dozim is a different species. He have told you people. Play on a good Siam. We have already been vindicated again, and another move has been taken by the leadership of this movement. I have said it, we are praying for you now. You don't know before. Where are you going? You are here with us. As far as you did not abandon this struggle after the kidnap of our leader, you are going nowhere. As far as you did not compromise when they just, you know, you people heard that they kidnapped our leader and you people did not abandon this struggle and did not compromise, you are not going anywhere. We are, we are here together and we are going to see the head. My dad is our head of media. Our head of media. Coordinators of all countries. Every one of you that are working as seriously on this Piafran restoration, those of you that have chosen your path, those of you that, that, that have already taken it upon yourself that Biafra is our religion. Mazi Jonathan, continue. I have said it. I'm going to You know, sometimes some people think that it's for you to come on social media and begin to rant. You rant and talk too much, talk what you feel like. You get out from the internet. People that are working on, on frequency will be working on frequency. That's satellite, in other words. In a, in a play on a shows, but now your television in Africa. Go to your Biafran television channel one. Tune it now if you don't see me there. Idiots everywhere. If you don't know nothing, you come here, you think that I'm coming here to brag. Or you think that I'm coming here to put my English in accurate, to make it sweet. No. I'm coming on my broadcast from beginning to the end. I use English from beginning to the end of my broadcast. It does not matter. In, so, you see, let me tell you, mistake will always occur. If you don't know, mistake will. As far as I'm not an Englishman, and I keep on saying this to my people, I am well furnished, well outspoken person, well understanding, read and write. So what do you think I'm coming here to do? We have come to stay. Now, let me continue. Onyendu, eh, 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 I'm just saying that some people are not, but we all play they go on the show. Then I will get there because they are crying today. Oh, yeah. Onyendu, what did you say? If he calls you on the phone, yes. you must listen to him and do as he says. Oh, who is that? He is our deputy head of directorate of state, led by Mazi Chike. Um, okay. They are the highest decision making body in IPOB. All right. If that thing is difficult, then I will say it to me. They Do you wait. understand? Okay. Anything, they, if they call you on the phone, you don't return their call, or your doing is compared, I will then believe that the issue has brought you Thank over, you, and you will be dealt with. <laughs> they do state you want. No doubling in volunteer uh, Our leaderships. This year, our, the people in front of this struggle, 
and the person that is heading this struggle, Mazi Shike, those you heard what Mazi Nankar said. That is the power restored in you. I want one in the for her. That is the power restored in you that whatever you say goes. Whosoever you call on telephone and obedience name, you remove the person. Whosoever that stands on your way, you push the person away. That is the power restored in you. And nobody can ever stop it. Now you do understand for this moment. We don't lie, we face reality. As it stands today, Mazishike Dozium is the one in charge. Mazishike Dozium is the in forefront of this, you know, every directive. You follow it. You can never dispute it. Except you lack ability. You don't have understanding. And you are a mumu and your mumu will never do. Now you understand. See, let us uh, give uh, our sister Marian T. Heide a meaning silence. It's very, very important. We don't joke with our own. You know, as I'm doing all these things, how should I put this in English? Badish. Where somebody is burying someone, that is exactly where he's burying himself to. I don't know how to put it. You forget. You know, there's some adage in our place that there's no translation. That is why Biafra is our legion. That is why they have already denied us a lot of things in totality. That is why sometimes they will speak English, you don't know how to translate it because it's not your mother tongue. Now you understand. But we are learned people. We understand. We put things in order. We be able to make sense to people. We speak for those that cannot be able to speak for themselves. Now you understand. You can be the Bia French child watching it. I am unique and different. Very, very different species in this Bia French restoration project. We don't lie. We tell you the truth. A minute silent. Let me put my stopwatch, please. A minute silent. Anywhere you are, anywhere you th you are, are now, please don't write, don't do anything. Let us give our sister a minute silent instance now. May the souls of our people that they have been killing from 1945 up to date, Marian T. Heider, may your soul rest in peace. May you come back again and finish your job. There is a lot of pains full of our hearts, but there is nothing we can do about it. Death is something that money can never buy. That is something that every one of us, someday, one day, we are going to leave this planet Earth. But what follows it? Your legacy. Your legacy. The good work that you have done on this planet Earth. Because people dies, woman's bones and other. Life continues. Maria Hader. Accept your soul. 
even though the wrong or the good may he accept you. Because we are going to die someday. That is why I keep on telling people, stop claiming that you are killing people and you are going to die. Very soon now, they will come and claim it. Very soon now, some idiotic morons saying that they are practicing a religion they brought to you, they will come back and say that they are the one that killed them. Kill her, I mean to say. Then we say, ah, hey, boogie, up here, boogie, nah, but this, nah, 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 now, let me go straight to the reason why I'm here. If you go to my caption, if you go to my article I put there, I said, Mazin Nandekano siblings, Aloye Jimako, and the DOS are wise. See, let me people tell you people something. I don't know when things will happen to our people we will begin to understand. Things have happened to our people many times. You know, when things happen, we are going to go back from the genesis of all these shenanigans that is displaying today. And we are seeing it, kuru kuru, except you are a blind person. Except you are blind. You know, most of our people, mostly, not most, of, majority of our people, we are, are we reason very tiny. We reason very, very tiny. We can't keep memory. I heard it, Mazi Shinas and always just said it on his last podcast. According to our head of media, he say black people have a 15 minute memory. And this is how it is. Things will happen to our people under two weeks. It's, it have already been forgotten. They have forgotten about it. And we are in the, we, we are in this struggle now. They will have stand on our ground. We have chosen our path. We are taking record. That is why you see whatever that happens, we will come back and start from the Genesis. Now, you know when things happen, you go back so that you can be able to water your ground, so you can be able to make sense to people. We don't take things from the middle. We start from the Genesis. Isimbido, isimili, then you will understand what is going to follow you up. Mazin Namdekano was kidnapped. I'm back again. The same thing that I did, they took my name, they called police for me for the first time. It couldn't work for them. They took me to criminal police. It couldn't work for them. And I told them to go to court. Now you understand. Now they have already, they are now they took IPOB Germany to court. You see how stupid our people is. Mazin, most of you that have forgotten what happens to Mazin Namdekano. Some people deceived our leader. Some people told our leader, eh, don't worry, you are a British citizen. You can go anywhere. When you mention this name, nobody is going to touch you. They were deceiving our leader. Because they want to give our leader to his enemy. That is when they were planning to sort out Mazen Namdekano. They were deceiving him, trying to tell Mazen Namdekano to come out on Biafra, Radio Biafra, where we are worshipping. To begin to make announce of some things that is not relevant to our struggle. You know, they use what Mazen Namdekano loved most. Mazim Namkan so much loves our women. He loves them so much. You know, when I'm saying that Mazim Namkan loves our women, it's because of things that happened before. About riot, those people that came to, to protest the first time they, 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 they adopted our leader in 2015, is also the women. So Mazen Namdekano have already developed that love for these people. Not only Mazen Namdekano, I love our women. So by then they are using, manipulating, coming from back, from backyard, those that they are not in this struggle from the day one. Mazen Namdekano was kidnapped in Kenya. We don't even know that Mazen Namdekano was in Kenya. We don't know. 
the leadership of this movement led by Mazi Chike Dozim don't even know that he's leader. That he, the second in command, don't even know that Mazin Namdekano is in Kenya. Of course, it sounds like, I don't know how to put this, it sounds irritating or it sounds weird. Like being second in command, you don't know where your leader is. Of course, it sounds weird. But this is how it is. This is how we get to understand it. And there is nothing you can do about it. Because these people don't want to push Mazin Namdekan so much. You know, we, there are some things that we are going to be doing. You know, maybe sometimes we'll be asking yourself, if I'm telling Mazin Namdekan to do this, maybe he'll be thinking that I'm trying to control him. He's a leader. You know, the best. Mazin Namdekan was in Kenya for eight days. Some people knew. The siblings, so-called sibling of Mazen Namdekano, so-called his brother, knew. Madam Finance knew the one they called uh, Pion John Hom Nanyuni Mamienu. He knew because he said that they were working on the ground, trying to stop out. I told you people, I don't know, uh, you know, if we are still having money in our account. I don't, I can't tell you. Because a lot of people, a lot of things have went wrong. They are lying, telling us they are walking on the ground. Are they walking on the ground with the mouth? Or they are trying to, you know, okay, booba, in a sense that they are walking on the ground. In a sense that do I mean for them to be able to have, you know, a a, a, a paperwork that they will use to defend the money they have already stolen. <laughs> you know, we have to begin to think in different places. I mean trying to understand what can happen because we're all human we have learned these people as a book we have understand the way they behave we have understand that these people are double agent when they caught Mazin and no not caught they kidnapped him in kenya he was there for complete eight days the idiot who called uh, the secretary to onendu kalula and okorafo you know, whenever I say my own thing, you don't come to tell you, tell me what you don't know. I know, not you. I have communicated with a lot of people in this struggle. Even though the enemies, I enter them. Kalola and Okuraf. She was there called, tweeting on the Mazen Namde. I asked her, she told me, so when I'm saying it, I will hit my chest, say that, don't come and be using my name and say, you go and bring your own information don't call my name she was there writing now why i'm saying all these things is like what happens before is about to repeat itself again but now i have told you people to any place you see the people i mean those our leadership those people that are in the leadership those people are i mean the people that are i mean controlling the struggle at this moment Always give, give kudos to them. They have shown us physical. This one is not spiritual. This one is not superstitious. Physical that they are in charge. Regardless what happens before. Regardless the all allegation and, uh, you know, calling them all sort of name, telling them that they are the one that sold Mars and Namdekan. After the one they call is the bureau, he we are communicating with those people that Mazen Namdekano is in their hand. I mean the enemies, those people that kidnap Mazen. He was communicating with them. Go and ask Master Prophet. He said they were doing underground work to free him, to free a man that is leading. Over 70 something million people that people are listening to him. If you think that I'm lying, you have heard it down with that number that things are happening in our land today because of Mazen Namdekano. So, Ludo have told you that Mazen Namdekano is what he is. He is the mouthpiece. So what do you think? So when they kidnapped Mazen Namdekan, they redditioned Mazen Namdekan, the leadership 
got to know after eight days. We saw Mazen Namdekano on the media room or mainstream media in that contraption. They asked his brother, so-called brother. He said that Mazen Namdekano is on the mountain praying. And ask yourself, who is deceiving who? Now they have come again. I have told you this thing time with that number. A lawyer Jimako think that we don't have his data or his data, if the case may be. He thinks that we don't have his data. He thinks that we don't know things about him. We are just keeping quiet because we don't want to double into our legal team. We want to give respect to everybody. But don't try to, you know, manipulate the minds of people because you want to shine according to your in-law or according to unfortunate in-law. Call Master Prophet. He said that you want to shine. He says the Bureau want to shine. Everything is shine, shine bubble. Just imagine how these people are putting our struggle. We want to shine. You want to shine. Allow me to shine. You have shine. Or this year, can I be here? That is what they are doing today. When Mazen Namdekano, we are kidnapped. They, are, they we are beating this man, torturing this man, doing all manners of things. Now let me tell the, the kind of slap the words Mazen Namdekano. I want you people to be understanding it the way you will do. The words this man a very big slap. Not once. Like I said, you know the intimidation of African police people. That is why they say police force. In Africa, you have police with a force. So they are coming with force. And some of you are there. You don't even know what it means by police and force. They will begin to beat you without any, any question, without any understanding anything. They will start begin to do all manners of things to you. After all these things that Martin Namikano survived. Because that is why I have said it time with that number before. I have told the leadership. But we, they, they, they do understand also. Before. I told them in my broadcast also. Because when I say that, I told them some, some of you will be saying, eh, did you call them? No, I don't call. I speak to them through my broadcast. And uh, they are listening. I told them whenever they wake up, they should thank Chukwu Kikabiyama. That Mazen Namdekano did not die in Kenya. Because if Mazen Namdekano died in Kenya, before we will understand it, we, do, we have already teared them pieces. I got to have vam vam vam. Before we will begin to understand Probably I the mother man would kill to have vam 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 for, for three months because I am a kind of person that always reason and I think deeply. That is why I started this fight from the day one. Some idiot are saying that uh, he did when Ushame for was there, where are they? Where are they? It just everywhere are they? Oh good chemefo not here. Kana we can get na 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 South Africa na na conscience. I will be there, I will come there. So so what I'm saying is this. When they kidnap Mazen Namdekano, so I told the leadership, anytime you wake up by then, that was three months after the kidnap of our leader, when you wake up, you pray to Chukwu Kikabiyama, I say, Chukwu Kikabiyama, thank you that Mazen Namdekano, because if anything happens to Mazen Namdekano, according to Nelly Ofebu, that Mazen Namdekano have died in Kenya, because even though when they rendition Mazen Namdekano back to Nigeria, Mazi Shina Sanwaru said it on his broadcast. He go back again to Eze Bureau, ask him. But uh, Eze Bureau, is he not Mazi Namdekano we are seeing on mainstream media in Nigeria? Eze Bureau told Mazi Shina Sanwaru, wait, let me go and confirm. Let me go and confirm to know because their plan was, according to Nelly Ophiru, I told you people that Mazen Namikano have died in Kenya. The brother is telling you is on the mountain praying. So I want you people to put things together. I mean, put one on one to be able to make something out of it. Just trying to use your common sense. 
why should you be always daft and always be you know trying to you don't want to understand things and the man said can survive it they redition him down to that contraption called damine buzu we came out the leadership went to upper chamber and discussed about what they are going to do because with all these shenanigans that is playing, even though I'm telling you people 100%, 101%, if there is something like 120%, that even though the leadership of the movement, led by Mazishi Kedozim, we are not confirmed, we are not okay with the man they brought to court for the first time. Because Mazen Namdekan, when they brought him to court for the first time, they cover all his face. So they were not sure if this man is Mazen Namdekana. And they themselves heard from the one so called brother that Mazen Namdekana is on the mountain praying. Nelly Ofebu has said Mazen Namdekana have died in Kenya. And these people said no. <laughs> they, we don't believe that this man they are covering his face is Mazen Namdekana. We have to do something very urgent to be able to know if our leader is still alive or not. That is when they be able to bring out seat at home, the first seat at home that we did. That is the reason why. They want to confirm if this man is alive truly. And when we push that seat at home, it works. They bring our leader to court. They show our Lego team that Mazen Namdekan is alive. Baris they find a job for confirming that he is alive. Yes. Then the leadership said, okay, now we confirm that he's alive. If you say that we should stop the seat at home, okay, we are going to stop it. We have already, you know, getting a result. We have already found what we're looking for to know if this man is alive because they have heard a lot of rumors that this man is already gone. Some are saying he's praying on social on the mountain. Some are saying let us go and confirm if it's him because they don't believe the, the man will be alive. That is why they told Mazichina Sangoro, hold on, let me go and confirm because even though they themselves, they don't know. Probably they have to them, nah, we don't buy him. We don't buy him. Okay, let me go and confirm it. Ask him after he confirmed, did he, call, did he came back to him and tell him, yes, he's him. No, he ran away. Or then he the code of conduct. I am telling you people, all these people you are seeing, they never contributed in this struggle. They are there taking beneficiary. My brother is the leader. All he had in this struggle. Now the, the same idiocy is playing back again. After you people played the DOS from the day one, I have heard a lot of people. They will come. They will say, DOS sold Mazen Namdekano. DOS betrayed Mazen Namdekano. DOS did this. I keep on asking all these charlatans, all this inconsequential. Can you just come out and tell me what the, I mean, the deal of the DOS? What is that thing they did? Or you just come on social media, you listen to gossip, you come back, you say, all those people, they were telling you that DOS sold, they collected money, they have already paid back, they have, where are they today? That is what you are going to be asking yourself. You will see them. They will tell you uh, why we join this person is because uh, DOS betray. Can you tell me the, 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 the? I mean, that betrayer is what I want to know. Where is that betrayer? That a man that is in charge of this struggle in the person of Mazishike Dozim came out, told you people, believe you me, God bear me witness, I don't know anything. So, do you want this man to come and tell you people, hey, I know uh, he was there. Why he don't know? Why they have already dribbling him? When we say things the way it is. I know when I say this dribbling, some people will be putting it in another form. If you like, put it in any place you want to put it. That is why I keep on saying to you people, 
You see, English has a lot of definition. That is why we say that Biafra is our religion. And we are going to go back to our, our root. Apokura, the main leadership during that two years before they kidnap our leader, the answer is no. I am the one that will say, one no one fear game. You think that we are coming here to be to afraid of it? I'm not afraid of anybody, but of a woman. I give people respect. That is what I do. I respect people so much. But be afraid of you. Nobody born of you, a woman can can I be afraid of? No. Apokura. Did they sideline the leadership, the main leadership, led by Mazichike Dozim? Yes, they did. That is why they be able to kidnap our leader. And the same idiot now is still playing. But we have already played our own card. It will be plan, it will show. Today they are crying. One no one if you game, You cannot, one no, you are not going to do more, you are, more than a dead rat. Now you understand it. The rendition our leader. My uh, our leader meet uh, met with uh, what is his name? Soludo. They came and told you that no, he must say name is can is a body a body double. They hijacked our seat at home. The one they call is the bureau came and said they are doing neko. They are doing neko. They are doing neko. Akobari Aka. Because they want to do everything like they are the people that are are doing there's a lot of things there's a lot of, even though there's a lot of games that we have already planned they double into at the end we disappoint them because instead of them whenever you heard about a such a game first and foremost you have to invite or you know trying to let the leadership to know look this is the step we are going to do let us do it collectively I keep on saying collectively. Biafra, we are going to restore Biafra collectively. If you think that this IPOB that we have now is going to restore Biafra for you, and the Ptana jump right up, you see, you wait till that cannot come. And they will keep on manipulating you people. Keep on doing all manners of things to you. You will keep on being the, city, the, the number 10 citizen. As time goes by, your rank will be higher from 10 to 11, from 11 to 12. This is how it will continue. Till without end. You understand? They say, no, you, couldn't, you shouldn't do this. Uh, what uh, is the Bureau was telling us that uh, uh, Mazen Namdekal is supposed to have a meeting with some people. Why Caroline Okorafo is still tweeting on Mazen Namdekan, telling them that Mazen Namdekan is coming on meeting, coming with meeting with them. After them, we heard that Mazen Namdekan is in that zoo. Now Mazen Namdekan, they brought Mazen Namdekan to court, and we see that our leader is alive. A lawyer, Jima Kong, never told a Birima what Onion did. All the whole messages that Onion do have given to that idiot. To a Birima. He did not. Nothing. On ever now, Bogari. If we do the key. A lawyer, Jima Kong, they can't lose their pen. A lawyer, Jima Kong, a bro, a bro, you do go on your memory. When I, when, when, when you, now, now, I can't do it. It will ask all. You see? Today now, a lawyer Jimako begin to plan with the Onion Do siblings. We have said this in time with that number. Onion Do is, is not only for Faruk Ibek. A lot of us have died. A lot of souls. They have murdered. They have massacred. A lot of our people. And we are not going to stop. If you think that Mazen Nam De Kano is a property of a Faruqi Bek, we are telling you remove that from your mind because Mazen Nam De Kano is beyond a Faruqi Bek. A lot of that people have died in the sake of Mazen Nam De Kano. 28 men that died in a Faruku are defending Mazen Nam De Kano. Not only there. We have our woman leader in Ehala. They went and burned his houses and chased them away. All the whole properties 
we are on the level ground. They are not from Afaruki Beg. Ikonso were killed. Ikonso was not a former father. Ikonso left just a kid for the wife. Even though we don't know what is going on within that family now, they are not from Afaruki Beg. We love Mazin Nam the Kano more than you love him, so called sibling, so called brothers and sisters. We love Mazin Nam the Kano more than. That is why people are dying for his sake. To defend him. Also to, to be able to make sure that Biafra comes. Because they know that this man is the mouthpiece. This man is better for me to die for him to be alive. So that he will continue his good work. Preaching the gospel. The message of freedom to our people. That is why people are dying. Nothing else. And some of idiots are now taking it upon themselves, saying that uh, uh, this one is my, is my brother. I, I, I told you we have come, we say we don't come. There is nothing you can do. Allah, I'm asking you, 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 want, you want to shine. Allah, I want to shine. Is the bureau want to shine? We have turned, you don't know where a football team is. You don't know, you don't know you don't know you don't know there's a, a full of sports here and there to go and shine or become a musician that is where you want to shine you want to use a lawyer to shine i want you people to know this because why we are, why i'm saying this is that when all these things were happening ipob lead council ipob lead council which is barrister Ifani Ejofo was not aware. Mazen Nam De Kano, lead counsel, San Osakome, the case lead counsel, because some of you don't even understand. We have IPOB lead counsel and Mazen Nam De Kano lead counsel. None of them were aware because Aloy Ejimako want to shine. Eze Biro want to shine. They are now went back now to go and bring doctor the same thing that happens to america the same thing that they when Mazen namkan went to america they send Mazen namkan to kenya to go there and stay without no protection because they want to sold him out and they did exactly how they planned it they did it orchestrated by the zoo corner jail they did it now, the same thing they want to do again after Mazichi Kedozim have found his safer landing said that anything that he's doing is not going to tell none of you. You will be blind. And it's the play now. They went again and go knife. Went on the ground again. Bringing doctor for Mazen Nankan for ear surgery. When this thing will happen now, what they will say, DOS have done it again. That is why we are saying what we are saying. For you people to know what happened from the beginning, the genesis, when they redition Mazen Namkan to that zoo, some people knew about it. They don't want to expose it. They don't want to tell the, uh, the, the leadership. They don't want to tell even though the followers, they don't want to tell the lovers of freedom, the Biafran people, they don't want to tell them. They keep it hidden. Hane Eme Efem more masquerade people. The same masquerade, the same idiocy of masquerade they brought back again. And when this thing will happen now, the same thing they will still target on leadership that they are the people that are doing it. That is why they open it up. And Mazishin Asamura, I thank you. If they don't want to follow the due process, if they believe that uh, what they are doing is due process, it's okay. Mazen Nam the Kano must take decision from the leadership. Mazen Nam the Kano must take the must tell them to go. Of course, I know that Mazen Nam can tell them all these things, but they, have, they want to do it. That is the reason why today they fail woefully in England or London. Yeah, I don't know where they went to. Is it uh, United Kingdom? They say that they went court to, to sue United Kingdom about the rendition of Mazen Nam or by be, be Mazen Nam holding a United Kingdom passport and they have been, they have been renditioned to that contraption. They fail woefully. You know the reason why? Collectively, 
they lack that ability of collectively. That is why they are falling into pits every time they make a move. Anytime you see these people make a move, they always feel woefully because they don't want to apply that sense of reasoning or, I mean, being collectively to push something forward. They don't want to do it. Our lawyers in Kenya, nothing happened. I want to brief you people what they're trying to plan. You know, I have discussed a lot of things with people, even though we, even though this is the bureau that you people don't even know. We don't have a lawyer in Kenya. We don't. Now I want to make it clear. If he say that I'm, what I'm saying is a lie, I want him to come and tell me it's a lie. We discuss about it. We don't have a lawyer in Kenya. What we have is a beans man in United Kingdom. And when the rendition mass in Namdekano, for them to bring out a lawyer, for us to have a legal team in Kenya, they said no. That this man, they have a, what they call it, they have a, I mean, uh, how did they put this uh, English? Like, they have a, a group of lawyers also a, a, in Kenya. They, they are going to use uh, their, I don't know how to put these words. I hope. I can be able to explain this to our people. I mean, we don't have a lawyer in Kenya, but they have a representative from Bing's man, according to what Kanonta was saying. From them, they are going to be pushing the, uh, the, the case in Kenya. Not that we have a real, I mean, practicing lawyer in Kenya that is sitting, that he have taken the case on himself or herself. No. The person they claim they have in Kenya was through the Beans man, through the Mazen Namdekan's lawyer in London. So they are working together. I don't know, maybe you people understand what I'm saying. So there is nothing like, as we have some lawyers, that they are taking the matter on themselves in that contraption or in London. In Kenya, there is none. That is why today you never see any update. That is why today there is no update about them. We don't have any lawyer in Kenya. All this thing that you are hearing in Kenya is just to begin to stall and begin to put some, be able to put up some paperwork to, to defend the money they have already stolen. Nothing else. Now you understand. Now they go to back, they tell DSS they want to bring a doctor, they want to do this. Now, the one they are using to speak, they are unfortunate, nonsensical, and idiocy in law have came out and begin to shout that they don't want Allah Yejimako to shine. They don't want um, Ezebiro to shine. And at the same time, he was abusing Mazen Namdekan's wife. You see where their problem is. I told you people, the same thing they are doing to the leadership, the same thing they are doing to Mazen Namdekano's wife, that woman has suffered a lot in the hands of those non-entities, so-called siblings, that don't even understand. But they are there with their own wife. They are planning to put enmity between a family that they were not there when Mazen Namde can find his wife or her, find a wife. They were not there. But now, because the woman don't want to compromise, the woman don't want to be on the same shoe with them, now they are seeing her as, you know, obstacle, standing on their way. And nobody wants to talk about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, for what? In West and Andy, what he came around. That is why all this is, is happening today. A lawyer, Jim Accord, did not, did not even, as they were planning all these things, they did not even call the wife of the leader. They are going, they want, they would that want to go undergo surgery. They don't even trying to reach the wife. That have been 
alone for in seven days or six days, the man in question, which is Mazen Namdekan, will be in DSL from the kidnap to rendition from Kenya to that contraption for is going to two years. They don't even in I mean inform the wife that look, see what we are going, see what we are going to do. No. They forget about the wife and they, because they want to shine. And when this thing will happen now, what they are going to say, if anything wrong happens, then we tell you, eh, eh, but they are the leadership. Why can't they try to find their way? Now we have find a way, we stop it. And I want to thank you all, the leadership. Those of you that stop it, you did well. Because that to show the world that you people have already stepped up on the game. And this is to prove this is the biggest vindication. This is the, 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 I mean, one of the things, one of the good things that happens to Biafran this year. That the DOS, DOS have shown themselves that they are the people in charge. Because they have came out and begin to cry. Because DOS told them, you must go through due process. You want to carry all these things out. You don't even invite IPOB legal team, IPOB uh, lead council, Mazen Namdekanu lead council. You did not inform none of them because you want to shine. This is it. So it's not going to work. So tell them that it's not going to work. And now they are crying already. Tell them to go back and meet the leadership and speak with the leadership and the leadership will tell them what to do. And that is exactly what we are going to do. You can never do anything on your own. So that when things will happen, we will know those we are going to hold. Not coming here and be yapping. Now you understand. This is the message I have. So let me just ship this thing to, to this, uh, this known entity called idiot in South Africa called Ikenga. I saw one of his videos when he was calling my name yapping talking all sort of rubbish he's saying that uh, whenever they are talking about his issue well, i'm always or people are always serious because you know why i have to be serious in everything i'm doing i'm not coming to joke i'm saying things the way it is you are non entity on what if i see you lying to them telling them all sort of lies you never told them what you you say to my woman, you never told them. You were a very stupid and non-entity. You were a non-entity. You came out there, you telling them that uh, I will told you that uh, my car is this. Yes, I stand on that. Here in my, in my zone, in my area, Biafran Child is number one. And my car, if I sell it, you will, you will all the whole properties in your life it will cover it because you are an idiot. You know nothing. You are a non-entity. You know nothing. You come and begin. You think I'm coming to, 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 to gossip? You think I'm coming to be talking and be laughing? You think I'm doing so? That is why we are not, this, we are not different. We are, we are not the same. The same idiot told you people, which is Ikenga in South African I mean, Kogiri Gamagiri, he knows nothing. He knows nothing. He told you people that uh, I am not in Biafran television. That on Biafran television that I am is on, is on, is on uh, what they call it? It's on um, Facebook. You see, you know, I have told you people time with that number that I signed code of conduct. Did the idiot know what is code of conduct? To sign, he thought that the code of conduct that I was talking about is the IPOB code of conduct. No. The code of conduct that I signed is the same code of conduct that they sent to a Irima to sign that he did not. That is what I signed. I have my copy here. I have a copy of code of conduct to be able to broadcast on Biafran television channel world on frequency I'm broadcasting on frequency and we are going to practicalize it so that we know that we are not the same 
And whenever I'm speaking, I have to be serious. Because I'm not coming here to gossip. And I'm a quas. Talking and laughing and doing all the manners. No, I don't do that. I want you to understand what I'm saying. And I don't have to bring you a paper of signing of code of conduct. Because the leadership are listening. Our leadership are listening. Before I sign code of conduct, I have a meeting with the leadership. What it means by code of conduct is that you are going to conduct yourself. There are some things that you are not going to do in this platform. There are some things you are going to do. That is the code of conduct I signed. The same thing they sent to a Berima. So that he will not just come out on, Bia, on Radio Biafra begin to say things that is in order. It's not in order. That is why you have to sign a code of conduct. And I did it. I cannot just lie because the leadership, they are there. He can also call people and ask. Now, the idiot to call Eguatu, non as South Africa, but a non entity gamma life. Look at it here. Emmanuel Nago no nation. This is Biafran Television Channel 1. This is frequency. You see, today now I'm going direct on this thing, but um, I want you to click this channel one. You will see all my broadcasts on channel one. We have Biafran Television channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. I am in channel one. I broadcast on frequency. And uh, before I signed code of conduct, people called me. I'm not coming here to begin to call name like that idiot, a non entity that knows nothing. Call Chibuze uh, Watt on South Africa. Name him Kogiri. Ochana mo obra kaya kobo ono. Omi gide si ono na mo oria. Na mo uje go oche po ya. Akobi ya. You know, People put an aquasle. Let me break it here so that you people will understand. Because, you know, up to now, thrown us. And I will be bringing it one after the other because you have gotten to that level. You know, you think that I'm coming here to joke. I'm not coming here to joke. I don't care about what you said or you come to laugh or you begin to say all manners of idiocy in you. We are not made and we can never be. And I don't want you to call me your brothers an Anambra. I don't do an Anambra thing. The way you hate the others, I want you to hate me like that. Don't even think in your mind. That ne debo ni anambra debo ni mo i piya wu mo hapo ni mo. Adam e me hende anambra. I don't do anambra things. When I started this struggle, today in this struggle, I'm over. I have lived here in Germany 11 years now. I'm in this struggle over 12 years from Greece. Now you understand. I can go to Ago. I go to name me Megiri Gama Gife. Now common sense. You think that you know how to do saga? You will see it this time around. Man, now people are small, small. He came to lie to you people. That he said. Now when you more. The picture of my woman is in the internet. All the everywhere. You can see her. You can know how she looks like. We put everything there. We are not afraid of anybody. We are not afraid of anybody. That is why the picture is there. A lot of people copy the picture to the extent that the one that the, the one woman in South Africa also shared the post. 
begin to say, even though when he was putting the picture, he's putting my own and a Berima woman own to compare. That is why a non-entity in, uh, in, in South Africa, they are not idiot, you are going to the picture is everywhere. You, you people see it. He a very beautiful one for that matter. That is why we put it there so you can see. You see by yourself. South Africa, He told you people that his wife is from uh, uh, America. Yeah, my wife is from America. And what are you doing in South Africa? So your wife cannot present her documents for you people to fly to, to fly to America. You're not common sense. Donald now promise you that you want to take you to America or what? This idiot called me on telephone. Let me break it down. Because as time goes on, I will begin to put everything down. I don't lie. I will shock every one of you. I will shock it. And this is going to be preamble. This idiot called Guaton. A non-entity for that matter. I've been doing this broadcast now almost one hour something. I've been using English. Without no mistake. Without no using 70% of Igbo. But he will come to his broadcast and use 70% of Igbo. And, uh, you know, begin now to challenge somebody that is doing his broadcast from beginning to the end. Go and ask most of our people. The reason why they listen to me, mostly most of our brothers and sisters from coastal region, is because I use my English from the beginning to the end. Because I want everybody to understand what I'm saying. Not that I cannot use my dialect. Things that I cannot say well, I can use my dialect. But I'm, I'm trying to be able to pass my message across. This idiot. That's issue that brought that uh, that uh, when he said that uh, ha 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 na make onye donkey of kwanye of kwanye onye onye idiot from one day na say mo ke kwanye ke mo aji e post unye na say are you idiot short pa woman unye ke mo kwaga bo unye go ke he ne post there on internet after can post share the idiot e post unye we boy na for we say are you a madman. In I don't why I posted my wife on, but you posted your kid that a jolly young kid that nobody don't supposed to be on social media. In our common sense, this idiot I will get there because I know that he will bring his jersey again, and I will begin to bring out. Let me give you an example so that you will also know what I'm about to say next. I want to ask you people, Ikenga should also come out again. He should come and tell you people, a one politician that sent a message to him to me that we should sit on a round table. I want you to bring it out. And you're going to a very hint. Because now, this idiot called me on telephone. We were having a quarrel. Uh, he told me, um, I was, we were discussing, you know, I was so angry we were, you know, saying some things. There are some things I'm not going to speak in English, uh, in English here. I'm going to say it in my dialect because it's not something that some people will like to hear. It's just a lie. I can't do such a thing. It's just want to put salt and sugar. That is why when he was, you will see, this guy is just a gossip. That is why he was speaking and laughing. Because he know that he just want to laugh. He, uh, he's not paining me. He's not doing this. Ikenga called me, on, as we are calling, because we are speaking on, uh, on telephone conversation. My woman entered. She heard her voice. She told me, he told me, but idiot in, in South Africa. That uh, Kwamunye Mo no there and say yes. Or say Mo, he told me that uh, there is something I will do now. You, your woman will leave you. I said, what do you mean? There is something that you will do. She will just left or throw me out. I asked him, did you know who you are talking to? Are you sure? I said, you know, I love challenge. I so much love challenge. I told him, what do you want me to do? He said that I should turn this, my telephone, to camera. 
I turn it to camera. He said, I should give it to my woman. I give it to my woman. Or I say what you want to say. He said, do you know that your husband have married in Nigeria? Do you know that your husband has a kids in Nigeria? <laughs> After he said this thing finished, my woman said, is it what you want to tell me? Is it what you want to tell me now? You want to break it. This is what this idiot tell my woman. Now he begin to lie to you people. Now I'm challenging him. Who is the politician that sent him to me to come and sit on a round table? I will begin to bring him. You know, any go na hit. I will break it up how he started. You know, I don't, I don't here to begin to say if I lie. I don't do all those things. I don't believe in superstitious that you know that nothing will happen to you. You begin to lie. If I do this, let thunder fire me. And you know that no thunder is coming to fire you. I don't do all those nonsense. I'm telling you people reality. Because it's not um, if I know I it, I want you to come and tell them about politicians that you called me we discuss. I want you to come and tell them. Just start it. You, I want you to give them hint. Come and lie. Then I will begin to bring. After this, after this one, I'm going to give you another hint. You come out. You see that saga that you want. We are going to do it. Now I see that uh, this idiot, I want to tell you people something. Ikenga is, you see what full of that guy because he's a, he's a non-entity. He's a jealousy full of his mind. Do you know that this guy want to shut Rapture Media down? Because and this one that is telling you people that he knows who owns Rapture Media. Nobody owns Rapture Media. Nobody owns Rapture Media. Nobody. Rapture Media is under the leadership of Mars and Namdekan. Nobody owns Rapture Media. If you don't know, you say you know the gentleman that owed it. This idiot want to shut Rapture Media down. Do you know the reason why? I was broadcasting every time when this shenanigan just started. The rendition and kidnap of our leader. I, I, I was doing things on the ground on my page, but I see that I have gotten to this level. I have to appear on Rapture Media. At the same time, appear on Biafran Television. At the same time, on Frequency. Because when he's telling you people, Biafran Television on social media, no, I am not on social media. Ask questions. Ask people. Last two months, if I'm not mistaken, I was doing broadcast here. May to sell a cord. Because most of the time when I'm saying I'm on Frequency Channel 1, may to sell a cord. He tell me, Mars, eh? so I don't even believe that you are, you, you are appearing on television. I say, Mars, what are you talking about? But I've been saying this always, that I signed a code of conduct. You think I'm lying on what I'm saying? No, I'm not lying. All these broadcasts that you see that uh, Mars Shina Samoru is doing, our brothers, Isaiah, everybody's doing, I am the one that signed the code of conduct for that video to go to Biafran Television Channel 1. I am the one that signed the code of conduct. These people are on Radio Biafra. I am on Biafran television. So whenever you see any video on Biafran television or any broadcast, I am the one that signed the code of conduct to be appearing there. Now you understand what I'm saying. We don't lie. Why should I begin to lie to you people? And when I get there, I did not beg. Because this leadership that we have, they look towards people. They know what people, what you can give. And they will tell you to go. Matanga, Matanga of, of Kenya, any day that Matanga want to make a broadcast and they invite, who you are going to see there is Biafra and Chad Wachileke. Nobody else. I am representing Biafra people on Matanga television. Go and ask Matanga. Go and ask them. This guy want to shut Rapture Media down because when this 
issue of Mazen Namkan started. I have been in media for a long time. And I know our people always bored. They are feeling bored when, I mean, like, they are feeling tired when they are seeing one face every single day. I ask myself, what am I going to do? I begin to make research on my own. All these people you see, you people have saw on Rapture Media, Biafran Television, we find these people. I'm not saying to you, I'm only one that working on Rapture Media. We are a group of people, not only one group of people, not only one, not two. I am under Biafran Times. In Biafran Times, we have a lot of people there. I am under Biafran Time. I am under Eco Biafran. I am under Rapture Media. I am under Biafran Television on on YouTube on on, on uh, Facebook. I am Bia I am under Biafran Television under Frequency Channel One. No lie, I have shown you people the proof. If you doubt what I'm saying now, download Biafran Television Channel One. Click it if you don't see me, idiots. You want to shut it down. You know what? Why this, this idiot call me telling me that why should I be bringing anybody that I see? That did I know the, the platform that I am controlling? I say, are you mad? Are you telling me what to do? You are not the person that put me there. They saw you before they called me. As you were the best. As you were the chosen one. You can't even go to Matsanga to represent Biafra. You can't, they couldn't even call you. Also on Rapture Media, you are saying that only me is the only person that can broadcast on Rapture Media. Now, are you hearing it? Only me. You can see live on Rapture. As I'm doing it now, only me. Any video you see on Rapture Media, we, we restream it. How to show you the capacity. I'm not telling you that I'm the best. We have a lot of people. But why I'm there is because of the consistency. Consistency. That is it. We, I wanted to help this idiot to bring one of his videos to Rapture Media. I stream it. This idiot went to go and report our page. But thank God, you know, I, I, I'm a kind of man with uh, knowledge. I did all my best not to fight with him, but to plead because we are the one that offended him by streaming his own because he's so jealous that I have been streaming a fee. Metusela, uh, Paul Achebe, uh, A Giro, and rest of them, George Money. Uh, uh, he, will, he will be asking me, uh, we are here. You are bringing all these people. Why should you bring all these people? You don't, I say, are you going to tell me what to do? Do you know who you are talking to at all? And this guy was disturbing me, disturbing me, disturbing me. I say, okay, let me, he did not, I just pick, off, pick one of his video. When he did one of his position, I take it and I restream it on Rapture Media. This guy went to strike it. He went to strike it. I pleaded, of course, he returned it. After he returned it, you know, if you want to catch a monkey, you behave like monkey. I behave like monkey to, for him to write back to YouTube so that we can get our page back. He did. Because of the role that I played. Since then, I told him, listen, you can never get to be a front television. You can never see your video on Rapture Media. I can put the lowest person on Rapture Media. But for you, you can never. You can never. The guy was crying. He told me, do you know the reason why I do this? You never stream my video. You, they stream my I told him, but I have a video that brought me. He said, because I am, the, I, am, I am in the video, that is why he's there. Jealousy. 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 When I signed Code of Conduct on Biafran Television, the idiot was expecting me to bring him first. I go and pick me too. 
He began to cry. He began to cry. So I want you people to know the problem of Ikenga or Eguatu is just a jealousy. I have given him a hint. I want you to come and tell the world the, 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 the politician that sent you to me for us to sit on a round table. Tell them everything. If you lie, I will come back here and state it the way it is. We don't lie. Itogo. Now you say that I should be bringing it. I will give you a hint. I have told people what you said on telephone. All this one way they who junky. You are just lying. Imagine Oyengine Anna Chuano call you on telephone. See what TV do. Munego. The TV do Munego. See Munego. Makano believe when I'm on a no on your chan. Nana man no on your chan. Na. Na na no zi on your chan. I'm me. Na me. I know if you say anything I want to say. Or if you are, if you married a, a, a white woman that you can't even divorce. So you don't know that people can divorce. So you don't know that you can go on your own way. Does it mean that for when you marry, you must die then? The answer is no. So when you see some people also divorce tomorrow, it does not mean that things are not working. This is how life is. But I'm telling you people what this idiot did. I give him the phone. Oh yeah, speak. Break the family. Let me see. Uh, your husband has a, 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 a kids in Africa. Your husband have married. I asked this idiot. So this is what you want to tell my woman. Like I said, I supposed to delete this guy, but because of this struggle, because I see that he knows nothing. He thinks that everybody are the same. Metu na no ni hunia na go hunia ni aga no wa anyo so ni achoro wa anyo so ni in her life this is how he have put his family obro na na onyo chabo that you can make your own decision no or you think that ni na onyo cha na ega age nu bu na wa na ba ni it's a lie it depends how you put your thing from the beginning it will work for you obro ndu wa ga ura ga di wa anyo this idiot, he honor an obo, an old cargo. That is why your joy actually goes to a face here. On your debate here, born with some small money politician, Charlie. Bring it out now. Come and tell the people. Come and lie to them. Come back why and I was so. Oh, two can get snare wept here one after the other. Man, they wept here. Every believe that now you can just come and begin to lie. You want me to sit on a round table with a with a with a politician that I should go and bring my boys so that we can sit on a round table. So let me talk. Let me give him my uh, I should demand. And tell me the reply that I gave to him. If you I want you to come out and begin to speak it so that I will open how the thing started. Because now you think that he has a gay kuna. I gave you kubia. Because you're you we go talk him. And I'm telling you, you're a non entity on what a human. You are an idiot. Don't call me your brother. I'm not your brother. I'm not doing an umbra thing. No. If you see me, kill me first. And if I see you, napo first. I don't care about who you are. I'm not doing an umbra thing. I'm doing things of Biafra. That is what I'm doing. Don't call me your brother. Whenever, call me your enemy, idiot. And that's the last thing that I want to tell you people here. We have gotten to that level. If you like, you preach you. If you like, you come back home. If you like, you deviate. That is why you keep on telling people you love whichever for. You are doing all these things you are doing in our one Because when we were fighting whichever for, what did you did you say anything? You are telling me I did not start this thing from the beginning. You are the one that uh, giving me uh, motivation to come out. I spoke. I talk to deputy, a deputy to Mars and Nam, they cannot talk less of idiot in Finland. Now, common sense. Where were you? That Mars and Nam, they cannot to the extent that Mars and Nam, they cannot. He came that when Mars and Nam, they can't mention people's name. Do you know the people that Mars and Nam mentioned a lot first? When did Mars and Nam, they can't mention your name? End. At the end. You are the last people. And at the same time, Mars and Nam, they cannot mention your name, the last people with my eyes. 
He added my name the same day that he was mentioning your people's name. Which is you people are the last person. You, eyes. Plus me. He mentioned us, the last part, people. And every person that Mazin Namkan mentioned, every week he mentioned that new people, he must add Biafran child. Every time he, he mentioned new people, he must add Biafran child. To the extent that you were the last person that he's mentioned, he also mentioned my name the same day. You are coming here talking rubbish. You are coming here talking rubbish. That is the reason why you can never see that idiot video on Rapture Media. That is the reason why you can never see this idiot video on Biafran television. Because he gossips. He knows nothing. He will just come and begin to yap. We never marry. You don't marry. Before my first son, my first son, my first son is going to 13 years today. For you to know when I started. You don't know how I brought people on rapture media. You don't know the work that I have done on rapture media. The last another thing I want to tell you people. And I will break it here. Okay, for now, Bonananya. Let me tell you people something. He can have 120 something. He say 140. I don't know what he's talking about. You people that are sharing that people's that guy video because I've come to oh my bad. He thought that I cannot do the same thing that he's doing, but our own we put it in a serious how I mean we are going to put it in a way people will understand. I'm not coming here to speak and laugh. Because I want to enroll me here, Nike. I'm saying things the way it is. You see, most of you that are sharing that idiot video, you are putting yourself in a risk. And I will prove it to you people. He have done it to a lot of people. He have done it to a lot of people. This Eguato, Ikenga, have tried all his best to shut Rapture Media down. He have tried a lot of people. So, if you are sharing his video, you are at your own risk. Any day that you go against him, that his video that you share, you go and strike it. That to show you that this guy is a non-entity. So, for you to be sharing his video, you are at risk. Because if you are praising him today, if you have any counter with him tomorrow, he will come for you. That is why he don't share nobody's video to his page. Because he think the way people are reasoning. I have a lot of people that have used my video. Use a lot of things even though turn our videos to their own. We cannot strike them. We allow them. Because the message is sinking. You are on your own. You are at risk at any time if you keep on sharing this guy's video. You are at risk at any time for them to crumble your page. I am not lying to you people. Just use your common sense. Because it will happen to you tomorrow. So be aware that he can shut your page at any time. Be wise. Be wise. We put a lot of people on Biafran time. Why we did not put that idiot? He's crying. People, the guy told you people that uh, Biafran child never make a video that got into one million. <laughs> I am the first media warrior that have done a video. I don't lie. We, we, a lot of people can confirm it. Confirm it from Rapture Media Technical Director. I am only one that have dropped a video. Under a day, 20,000 share it. Under a day, they showed, it, they showed the page immediately. Just a day, 20,000 shares. Now, let me bring you the new page that I opened after they shut it down. They shut it. Uh, should I begin to answer this guy? People, even though 
there are some people, even though Mazi may have told you people before, Biafra and Chai don't watch can know how to compose a short video. If you want a video to go viral, you know what to do. But let me prove it. I don't want to lie. The idiot said that I never make any video that went to million. Now I want to show him. On a page that is not up to 100,000. We are going to bring it. Don't forget what I said. A man that told you to come and call me on a round table. I want you to start the issue. I'm giving you only five days if you don't, if you do not come back here and, te and tell the Biafra, I will come back here and tell people how it started before you approach me. Telling me, I'm not going to be able to get to the hospital. To the extent that I'm going to be where am I? Where when others are, are hustling? That you are hustling. You can't get to the hospital. You can't you see all those things saying, I say, uh, they will tell me something. If you tell me not to speak it, we are not going to speak it. One nepta, one atabata. One atabata, if you like, you talk. If you like, don't talk. I will bring the issue. I will start it. You see that thing you say that you don't want to do? This time, he gave me here. Let, let, me, let me bring it. Let me bring it here. After they shut our page down, a day, 20,000 shares. A day, just a day, 20,000 shares. My technical director can confirm it. He's a very gentle man. A lot of people can confirm it when they shut the page down. Eko Biafra. That time we are in, I think, 95,000 followers. I did a video. That video, they shut it down. They say, what is this one? We open the new Eco Biafra. We are 49, 49,000 followers. This is new Eco Biafra. This is, this is a video of Biafran child. 1.2 million viewers. 1.2 million viewers. 17,000 shares. 17,000 shares. That is only the video that is pump, up, pump out. I just, you know, pin it. I have a lot of them. Go to Eco Biafra where I'm dropping my short videos. Go to Biafra Child where I'm dropping my short videos. We got more than, more than 10, 20 videos have went 2 million. Yaki idiot to put away and I call on when I say no. If I am on Biafran television or uh, in uh, Rapture Media, Akura, he will boost it. And where were you when I'm get when they are calling me to come and you know take position there? Where were you when I was signing the code of conduct? Where were you? Because you a gossip. When Ushemefo was here, what are you doing? Or, or bro, I'm not the one that calling you. You ask me that, eh, but why Oyendu never said anything? You are the idiot. A non-entity is the one that asked me. Why Oyendu never said anything? I told you. But we are doing this fight. Ask yourself, why Oyendu never call us to stop too? He said, okay, okay, maybe you are right. And the people also, the people, the reason why each you are not seeing a lot of Russia for that is another topic for another day again. First, I want you to come out and tell the world, the people that you told me to come and sit on a round table with them, that I should bring my boys. You are going to talk about it. The next one, I'm going to also challenge you again why you love Russia for. I'm going quickly any now. I will be bringing it up one after the other. The world will begin to know it now. Because see, Deborah, I wrote that no one will have a secret. No one will have a secret. You need to tell me not to tell anybody. And the epitaph, you need to tell me not to tell anybody. I want to tell you because I know that all this thing is just All this thing is just expositions. All this thing is just expositions. Open your hand on the wall and say yes. I am not going to. But open on keep on social media. I say I'm. I'm swear. I mean, it's a lie. Things never work that way because we face reality. That is why you cannot tell me now to come and use Bible to swear. I won't swear because it's not going to kill me. 
is never kill anybody. He never kill your Bible. Never kill anybody. And you're on Facebook, on online, on online, uh, you know, you know, say you want to swear. He can never kill you. Nothing. So I don't go on that way. So I would like to stop this video here. You people have heard what a uh, Ikenga idiot, a non entity that knows nothing. I have told you people. The reason why the guy was angry so much is because I never brought him to the page that is available to me. And he knows that I'm a very, very powerful man. He knows that. I don't lie about it. You see, mostly all these pages, that is why every time I'm receiving message, do you know that sometimes, do you know that when BBC International did a documentary about Biafran Restoration Project, they were attacking people. They sent a letter to me, direct to me. Did they send it to that, that idiot? The answer, nobody knows you. I'm not saying this thing that I'm bragging. No, it's not a something of bragging. But I'm just trying to tell you, for them to get to send you this letter, that means they are listening to what you're saying. They are listening to what you're saying. To the extent they open my voice, I call this idiot in South Africa. He was telling me, you know, now they have called your name. Uh, you know, they, 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 they listen to what you said. You should, I tell you, look at you, are idiot. You are no need to go and say, go and go and get out, go and sit down there. On a bar myself for now, but I fear. Now just go see small video until in a social until in a rapture media. The documentary they did, where did they capture all these things? On rapture media. The whole faces they showed there is the video that or I uploaded. I or I restreamed on social media. Those whole faces that you saw there. They sent me a letter direct to here. Is a bureau sent me to court to criminal police. The one Anna Obunaya sent me to call the police for me. Have they did all this thing to him? The answer is no. Matanga is life today. You will see me their life. Matanga in Kenya, I will be their life representing Biafran people. After he will be telling you that uh, my English chase people away. But I'm coming here making a broker for two hours using English. But your 70 80 percent of your broadcast is evil, and you are coming here telling me that my English is not a I will say this, I will say that. Because what we are preaching is not orchestrated, it's not a script. No, that is why when we speak, we digress and come back again. This is how it is. It flows, not gossip, flows. Put things in order. Trying to arrange yourself and compose yourself. Make sense to people. That is where here. Don't think that I will come here and I begin to say one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. No. Things never work that way. When it comes, it's here goes in. You bring that one out. You go, 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 go. You ponder. You digress. You suck with again. This is how it is. If you don't know, you know now. Onion, I call you, I have a if you see a, 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 a person call himself a man, will be gossiping, abusing women. But Nelly Ofebu told you that he left the husband because of uh, the, her mission. What are you going to call that one? You don't know that a lot of people here today in Europe, they don't want to marry. Even though they're married, they don't want to have kids. You think it's compulsory for a person to marry or to get kids? Is it what you think? Well, it's the way of, it's the life of Africa. That is why we're trying to change things. So that humanity can stand. Factories and companies, infrastructure can be there for people to work. After you work, you can begin to take your pension. That is how it is here in Europe. That is why people can tell you they are not going to marry. That is why people will tell you we don't need kids. After you finish your job, they begin to pay you pension. You are, you are going to be living till you die. You are going to be collecting money till you die. The money will stop. After 60-something years, you begin to collect money. What you are going to do in the morning, 
you just open your door and go to the park. You met your, 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 your age, your mates. You people discuss. You sometimes you don't have to cook. The food is already been cooked. They have a lot of restaurants you can order food. And when you are ordering this food, it's not going to, you are not going to order it that it's going to take all this your money. No, food in Europe is just nothing. You will order it and eat and sleep. Tomorrow, you go wherever you want to go. Idiots call Ikenga a jealous person. And I've told you people, if you are sharing his video, you are at risk. I will stop it here. And I thank you all for listening. Till we, oh, he will also bring his dios. And I have given him another game to play. Who sent him to me to come on a round table to discuss with him that I should bring my boys and I rejected it. That is the first one. After then, I'm going to go the reason why he said that he loved Wushebe for. Yes. And I will call it a day.